beautiful people welcome to my channel my name is Idiolima Umo in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you eight habits we should let go of in 2022 now if you're interested in that you definitely need to keep on watching guys so i'm just going to get right into the business of the day so the first habit we should let go of in 2022 is comparing our life with others i know that we are fond of wishing that we have what other people have but let's recognize the fact that everyone on earth has is our own journey and path and that there is no success story out there without obstacles without struggles I mean, there is no successful person out there that is going to tell you that he or she didn't have to go through obstacles and struggles in order to get to where they are today. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have role models. Please do, because I, for one, I do have a role model that inspires me to want to do better and live better. But while we are doing that, let's recognize the fact that nobody's life is perfect and no one has it all figured out. So what I want us to do in 2022 is to trust and embrace our own life, trust the timing of our life, trust our process, and in no time you're going to get to where you want to be and tell your own success story one day. Okay guys, so the second habit we should let go of in 2022 is idolizing relationships on social media. Oh yes, I know we can't help ourselves by rooting for hashtag couple goals on social media, but let's recognize the fact that people put out what they want you to see on social media. They're only putting out the juicy side. They are not putting out the behind the scenes of their relationships. You are not seeing that. Adrian Putin on the real once said that the real moment that we have with our friends, our fiancés, our husbands and boyfriends are not captured on camera. They are not because you are really invested in that moment that you can't even reach for your phone to take a picture or to take a video. So the only thing you're going to see on social media are calculated moves. I like to call them that because that is exactly what they are. From the pictures, to the videos, everything is being calculated and sort of. So what I want you to do in 2022 is to stop using this relationship on social media as a yardstick to measure your own real life relationships. Okay guys, so the third habit we should let go of in 2022 is letting people take advantage of you no boo we are not going to be doing that in 2022 stop letting people take advantage of you stop being dormant for people to work on stop letting people take your niceness for stupidity because you are not what i want us to do rather in 2022 is to teach people exactly how to treat you Set your boundaries. Let people know of the boundaries that they cannot cross. Let people know what is acceptable and not acceptable by you. And trust me, when you start letting people know that you cannot be taken for a ride, people will start listening to you. So the fourth habit you should let go of in 2022 is making excuses. What is the reason why you are not starting that business of yours? What's the reason why you're not going for that acting audition? What's the reason why you are not dancing if you can dance? Believe me, the first thing that is going to come out of your mouth is excuses, excuses, excuses. We are not going to be doing that in 2022. We are going to be more bold and confident in our talent. We are going to show the world of our capabilities. We are going to stop taking the back seat, but rather we're going to come forward to take the front row. So what we are going to do in 2022 is to pitch that business idea that you have, that potential investor, go for that acting audition. Do you know how to dance? Feature in dance videos. All we are going to do in 2022 is to just do it. Trust me, you're going to be taking over in 2022. Okay, guys. So the fifth habit that we should let go of in 2022 is trying to force relationships and friendships oh my god i cannot over emphasize this enough stop forcing someone to be in a relationship with you stop trying to stay in a relationship or an arrangement that doesn't serve you just because you're scared of being single if someone doesn't like you for who you are or if someone doesn't love you that person doesn't love you even if you put your head upside down or go extra mile for that person so stop trying to force someone to be in a relationship with you. 
What I want you to do in 2022 is to let go of such situation, walk away from such relationship. I know that it's not easy, trust me, it is not, but it is a decision that you have to make for yourself. Same goes for friendships. I don't understand why you should keep being friends with someone that constantly lets you know that he or she doesn't want to have you around, or that person keeps trying to make it look like you're forcing him or her to be friends with you. No, you don't need such a friend. You don't need to be downplayed like that. You deserve a friend that genuinely loves you and wants to have you around. You deserve a friend who would support you, who would always be there for you anytime you need that person. So stop trying to force yourself on someone. Stop trying to force relationships and friendships in 2022. Okay, guys. So the sixth habit you should let go of in 2022 is trying to change people yes yeah, this kind of aligns with my fifth point when i was talking about putting yourself on someone it is not your job to try to change a grown human being if that person doesn't decide to change that person isn't going to change just because she said it now there is no point being in a relationship or in friendship hoping that at the long run that he or she is going to start respecting you and valuing you no let that person start respecting you now. Let that person see your value now. Let that person start treating you well now. So stop being in something that doesn't serve you. Stop thinking that, oh, at the long run, I'm going to change him. He's going to start treating me well. When he starts saying that I am nice to him, no, don't do that. Seriously, don't do that. So in 2022, let's stop trying to change what we cannot change. Okay, guys, so the seven habits you should let go of in 2022 is not being yourself just to please people i mean this can be so frustrating and exhausting to try to be someone that you are not stop trying to change who you are in order to please people what i mean by that is you know quite all right that what is required of you is something that you cannot do or you cannot see yourself doing in a long time but yet because you want to be accepted in a circle because you still want to hang with a group of friends you change who you are guys it is not worth it what i want us to do in 2022 is to be ourselves and be unapologetic about it anyone that likes you or loves you will accept who you are and be with you no matter what so guys, in 2022, let's keep it real. Let's keep it an hundred and one percent. All right. So the eighth habit we should let go of in 2022 is accepting the bare minimum. Guys, in any sort of arrangement, be it a job, friendship, or relationship where you're being treated less, are you in a job where you're being paid less? and you know you deserve more, ask for it. Are you in a relationship where you desire that your partner calls you every day? There's nothing wrong with that. Now, if that person cannot give you what you deserve, then that person doesn't need to be in your life. So guys, in 2022, let people know your worth and your value and what is unacceptable by you. Okay, guys, so that is all I have for you today. Please, I kindly request that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell just beside it. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like. Comment down below which of these habits that you are going to let go of in 2022 or any other habits that you want to let go of in 2022. I would love, love, love to hear from you guys and reply all your comments. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. As always, remain beautiful.